Welcome back to Gem and Cozy, you guys. Come hang out with me as I pack February Stationery Club rewards. This month's theme is a dragon and book theme. Everything arrived pretty early in the month, so I started packing earlier so that I could get a head start. The irony is I started early thinking I have a little more time right now and things might get busier later. And then the week after, I actually went viral. I have a video on Instagram that has something like 6 million views right now, which is unreal. I've never had a video just blow up like that. And the really cool part is it's one of my best sellers. It's my Be You're Doing a Job sticker. And in February, I like to reshare this design because this is the month that it originally went viral. And it just feels extra special to me knowing that I'm still here doing this work as a full-time artist. A lot of it has to do with that design. So I thought it was so cool that it went viral again. I'm in shock. But I've been trying to work on filming more content for YouTube and a big part of it is my effort to romanticize aspects of my life that I feel like are harder for me to enjoy, like cooking and some of the more mundane aspects of repetitive work when it comes to running a stationery shop. So I really want to film more parts of it so that I can enjoy it more and edit things, look back on my life and be like, wow, this was what I was doing. And I remember how fun it was to, you know, just like draw that piece or do something with Safi or my boyfriend. So this is kind of like a personal effort to make my life feel more enjoyable and therefore actually enjoy more aspects of my everyday life. I had an awesome packing session while watching some YouTube videos as well as a K-drama. I recently started Marry My Husband. I read the webtoon first, so when I saw that they adapted it into a Korean drama, I wanted to check it out. I'm still not done with it yet, but I'm enjoying it so far. I've had to take a long pause since packing took precedent over the past week. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy some ASMR and then we're gonna hang out and cook. my very first dragon and oh my gosh it was one of the hardest drawings I have ever committed to in a long time. I really wanted to draw a wood dragon but make it my own style so figuring out the right colors and textures for the concept was really challenging. But finally seeing it in my hands as a completed sticker is so exciting. Plus it's a clear sticker! seeing all of your feedback about my derpy wood dragon, I am so glad that I just stuck with my gut and kept all of the designs that I was not sure about. When I showed this design to my boyfriend, he thought that it looked too busy with the leaves and all the wood details. He also said that it looks like an axolotl, which is kind of true, but I like it. <laughs> a lot of you have been waiting for a really long time for this guy, so my derpy wood dragon and the I have no shelf control stickers are now available at Gem & Cozy. 
I am packing Tina's order because they place an order and they're part of Stationery Club. So they're getting this whole little matching set. Tina also made their first order and picked up a bunch of stickers and goodies. Some sticky notes, some sassiness over here with the matching sorry can't make it super busy bookmark take your meds magnet and one of my new sticky notes the tired checklist and a classic keep it spicy thanks so much tina enjoy i just had such a lovely experience in the post office I had these three gigantic tote bags and the worker actually stepped out to just collect it all for me at once, which was so nice. They were full of smiles and then I had to go get some stamps. I noticed that when I order them online, I have to pay like a little extra fee. So the line was short, so I decided to step in and just grab some, but they didn't really have that many in stock. So I had to just get like three of different sheets to kind of add up to enough for stationery club. I also got this package. I'm so excited because look at all this washi tape. I have to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna go to Kroger on the way home because we haven't gone grocery shopping in a while and my boyfriend is sick now after I got sick. But I feel so bad because he's just like bedridden. And um, he actually helped me build shelves even though he wasn't feeling well because my office really needs it and I kind of think I'm at a point right now where I need help but not consistently with my business and I'm trying to figure out what I can allocate to other people for help. So there I really like my little home studio. I don't really want to expand into something where I have a bunch of employees. Like it's kind of weird. I don't I feel like everyone else would feel like that's the right thing to do or the kind of thing they would want. But I realized over time that I really like just being able to keep everything maintained like in my office. And I don't really think I want all that extra responsibility of sales to do that so um i really like my you know little room i wish it was a tiny bit bigger but we're making it work in fact i'm trying to put in more shelving so that i can really amplify the space and make it as efficient as possible for storage i am hoping that i can kind of like ask for more um support when it comes to areas that i feel like i'm just not as strong in to be honest like i'm not the best at organizing inventory i definitely kind of stray away from organizing my finances so i have areas that i'm very like comfortable and good at and then there are areas that i'm like no thank you i do not want to do this if i don't have to so a lot of it is just outsourcing um i'm really glad that i have a cpa and they take care of like books and everything and I just pay them like a monthly flat rate. I am so going to make a grocery list notepad because I'm terrible at buying things at the grocery store. I'm always like all over the place and then I leave with like eggs and bread and then nothing to cook with and I'm like why did I even go?
you gonna eat it, Sefi? I made it just for you. Thank you.